Say, Bentley, since you're here, maybe you can settle a little discussion we've been having. In England, do you people make friends with your maids? Surely, yes. My best friend was my nanny. Oh. Wonderful woman, nanny. Used to tell me fairy tales by the hour while I sat in her lap and pulled the hairs out of her chin. <laughs> Depend on me. Mm. Yeah, and I can also depend on my buddy. He's in town, and you can bet he's out to hustle me. Really? How can you be sure? Because he did it once before. The day Louise and I got married, he threatened me. Cost me 11 bucks, plus my Argyle socks and my Spydell watch bag. <laughs> An unscrupulous dastard. Is that the way you pronounce it in England? <laughs> ah, Mr. J, I'm so pleased to see you. I'm pleased to see you too, Bentley. Oh, well, that's good, because I've got a bit of a problem. I'm entertaining a lady friend tonight, and I'm in need of a wire whip. Wire whip? <laughs> well, I'm surprised at you. Why? I do all my own cooking. What's the wire whip got to do with cooking? Well, I'm separating some eggs, and I need a wire whip to beat the whites. Oh! <laughs> well, you can have anything you want if it's to beat the whites. <laughs> hey, Lee. Uh, Bentley wants to borrow your wire whip. Oh, sure. Hi, Mr. Bentley. Hello, Mrs. J and uh, Mrs. Jefferson. And, uh... Oh, this is our next-door neighbor, Bentley. Harry Bentley, Miss Johnson. Hi. Hello. You know, she was George's first girlfriend. <laughs> we met in high school. Really? You two were at school together? But Miss Johnson looks so young. And you look so... So what? <laughs> Dignified? Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Johnson. Thank you. But call me Harriet, please. Harriet, now isn't that an amazing coincidence? Coincidence? Yes, you see, your name Harriet is a variation of Henrietta, and Henrietta is the feminine version of Henry. So? When I was born, my mother wanted to name me Henry. She and my father fought about it for weeks. Your father liked Harry. Uh, no, he liked my brother Malcolm. <laughs> uh... Come with me, Mr. Bentley, I'll get your whip. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> Did that make sense? Only if you're English. <laughs> you go on camera dressed like that? You're gonna get arrested for scaring all the wild animals. <laughs> it's gonna be very cold this time of the year. Yes, I know, so I'm taking something with me to keep me warm. What are you taking, plenty of booze? No, plenty of Cynthia. Oh. oh. Is that your new girlfriend? Oh, well, Cynthia's much more than a girlfriend, Mrs. J. She's a sport. We're going to have a marvelous time roughing it in the great outdoors. It'll be just like the old Boy Scout days. Cynthia was a Boy Scout? Oh, no, she's all girl, but I'll teach her some of the old tricks. Oh, you a sly old dog, Bentley. <laughs> oh, no, I mean things like rubbing sticks together and uh, sure. boiling up the snow for shaving water. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia is going to love that. Yes, she will, won't she? <laughs> I didn't know you had Boy Scouts in England. Oh, that's where they came from in the first place. That's where all the nuts come from. <laughs> no, I think that's Brazil. England is more leather goods <laughs> and Boy Scouts. For all, one life for each to give. What stands if freedom falls? <laughs> Who dies if England Oh, dear. Oh, I've broken into poems. Oh, no, it's time to leave. Oh, do you have to? Huh? Oh, what a shame. Uh, <laughs> suppose I could do one more. Uh, save it for next New Year's Eve. Come on. Hello, George. I have eaten your bread and salt. I have drunk your water and wine. The death he died, I have watched. <laughs> Rudyard Kipling! <laughs> Say cheddar! <laughs> there you are, Mr. J. In just 60 seconds, you'll be smiling up at yourself. Look, Bentley, I don't have time to pose for snapshots. I'm just bringing over my camera. Mrs. Jefferson asked if she could borrow it for your trip. Oh, that's great, thanks. And thank you for walking on my back this morning. As usual, it did the trick. <laughs> you have magic feet, Mr. <laughs> J. <Jay. laughs> yeah, I played soul music on your slip disc. <laughs> hey, Weezy, 
Bentley Boy's camera open. Oh, thank you. Are you sure you don't mind? Oh, not a bit. Just be sure to bring me back a picture of that dear old Mark Hopkins. Look, Bentley, we won't have time to visit all your buddies. <laughs> the Mark Hopkins is a hotel, George. I knew that. He has four of the most fabulous days of my life. Frisco and Frederica. Ah, Frederica. A girl with a wonderful one-track mind. Oh, 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 Mr. Bentley. Oh, no, I mean she was crazy about cable cars. We rang the bell all weekend. Hey, this gonna look like me. This is some big, fat white guy. Oh, that's my finger. I keep putting it in front of the lens. I'm sorry. Would you like some coffee? Oh, no, thank you. I've got to go. The Lebanese problem again, I'm afraid. Oh, that would drive me crazy if I had a job like yours at the United Nations. All those countries arguing and fighting. Oh, this isn't at the UN. It's downstairs in the garage. <laughs> in the what? I'm having a problem again with Mr. Babaki and the Lebanese gentleman who parks next to me. What kind of problem? Dings. <laughs> What's dings? Oh, dings are caused by dunches. Oh, I see. What's dunches? <laughs> a dunch is, uh... Well, it's when someone parks too close to you, and when he gets out, he hits your car with his door. Dunch. <laughs> which makes a dent, which leaves a ding. So the Dunch's dents have damaged your door with dings. I think she's got it. You mean this guy keeps hitting your car? Yes, I've tried phoning him about it, but he just hangs up on me. So I wrote him a rather nice letter, but he never replied. Then uh, there's only one thing left to do. And what's that? Take him to Knuckle City. No, start with mine. Uh, all right. Oh, careful, careful with that bow. I can use it again. There you are. Huh? Oh, what lovely suspenders. <laughs> They're not suspenders. They're garters. In England, they call them suspenders. Well, they are wrong. They're goddess for holding up your socks. And one thing I can't stand is seeing a man with a sock down around his ankle. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. All the Bentley men have always worn suspenders, uh, garters. Except, of course, for my uncle Edward. He used a thumbtacks. <laughs> Yes, sir, he had a wooden leg. <laughs> Something I think you'd really like to see. You know what I'd really like to see? You walking back to your apartment. Oh, you've seen that before. <laughs> oh, what is it, Mr. Bentley? Uh, what I have, Mrs. J, is a colony of hymenopteri. Oh, how nice. Commonly called an ant farm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you've got bugs in that case? Well, not he's got bats in his belfry. <laughs> These little creatures have a lifestyle very similar to our own. Oh, you mean they got nosy neighbors, too? <laughs> and ants are so efficient. Each one has a definite job. These are the workers here, and these here are the soldiers. How can you tell? Uh, by their large mandibles. Mr. Bentley! <laughs> That's their jaws. And uh, this one here is a queen. How can you tell by the way he walks? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, Mr. Bentley, but I hate ants. They give me the willies. Oh, would you mind taking them back to your apartment? Oh, dear, I was hoping you could take them off my hands. You see, they were a gift, and I haven't the time to care for pets. Look, Bentley, if you plan on leaving those ants here, you can forget that. I agree with George, Mr. Bentley. Who would want to live with a bunch of ants? A bunch of uncles? Bentley! Hey! Oh, oh, oh your majesty! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 please don't hurt the poor thing. Uh, after all, they just come from a broken home. Uh, perhaps if I get some honey, we could trap them. George! Florence? Is anybody here? Hello? Ah! <laughs> Mr. Bentley, what were you doing?
doing out there? Uh, washing the window. Why? Uh, because it was dirty. <laughs> no, I mean, why were you washing the window? That's Florence's job. Oh, I know, but I asked her, and she was kind enough to let me do it. She said she had something she had to do in her bedroom. Nothing like a nice, long nap. Florence. I sure wish I had time to take one. Florence, why was Mr. Bentley cleaning our windows? Because he hates watching soap operas. What? Yes, unfortunately, Felicia loves them. Felicia? Oh, your house guest. Is she still here? Oh, I'm afraid so. Oh, it must be two weeks. And uh, 11 hours and 13 minutes. <laughs> you never told us why she's staying with you in the first place. Well, she just turned up on my doorstep and I said something terrible. Well, what did you say? I said, come in. <laughs> Hello, Mr. J. Bye, Bentley. Bye, Bentley. <laughs> you know, that's the first time I've seen your door slam from this side. <laughs> Can I help you, Mr. Bentley? Oh, yes. Uh, you see, I'm having a problem with my budgie. Pardon? Uh, with my parakeet, uh, Chester. I'm afraid he's catching a cold. How can you tell? Has he been blowing his beak a lot? <laughs> uh, sorry. I was wondering if I could warm him up over here. You see, the heat's not working in my apartment. Oh, no. Uh, yes, and I'm afraid that's why uh, Chester's been acting so sluggish. He hasn't said a word all day. Oh, I didn't know your bird could talk. Oh, yes, I've already trained him to say uh, thank you and you're welcome. Really? Maybe you should come over here and train George. <laughs> what do you want, Bentley? Actually, Mr. J, I just dropped in to return your TV guide. I'm done with it. Oh, thanks. Hey, wait a minute, this is last week's TV guide. Uh, yes, I know, that's why I'm done with it. <laughs> Bentley. I hope a UFO lands on this planet. Why? So you can have a family reunion. <laughs> George, my apartment's been robbed. The police just left. What? Oh, Mr. Willis, hard cheese. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. They broke in this morning while I was showering. Oh, they got my TV set, my stereo, my gold watch, all my credit cards. My, you must have been in the shower a long time. <laughs> it's a lot of them to clean. Where was Helen when all this happened? Oh, Helen's up in Connecticut visiting her cousin. I just talked to her. She's very upset. George, those hoodlums, they even stole my shoe trees. Look, it's a, just come on, calm down. We'll just take it easy. Sit down, sit down, sit down, relax. Here, drink this. Oh. Well, at least those burglars won't be bothering you again. Why? Oh, they've already got everything you own. 